Hey everybody, it's Overkill here with episode 4 of the Total War Rome 2 Macedon campaign. So in the last episode you've seen as we conquered all of uh, Thracia, taking out uh, whatever the faction was that we were fighting. I can't quite remember what they're called. It's been a couple of days since I've recorded this campaign. So uh, yeah, our next target is Epirus as they've risen up against the RDA, which was their uh, their overlords, basically. And uh, they've actually conquered a nice bit of uh, Illyria. So, we are going to uh, just follow them, basically. So, I have my armies getting ready. This army is force marching uh, to the border, basically. So, we're just going to strike Apollonia. And I might bring another army here to guard here, because, of course, they have to march around through here if they want to attack me. Or they have to come through here. So, we'll block, uh, we'll block them off with an army here. And, yeah, that's basically the plan. We're also going to be building up my economy. And everything like that so let's go ahead and first see if we can become friends with anybody I greet you as befits your reputation. they're allied with now, um, then, those guys so, so that we may fall to haggling. you are not interested in anything it's fine Epirus is the only person that doesn't really hate me if I could get a non-aggression with friend. Scythia that would be great but no so they might declare war and these people I don't really care about alright so same as always, everybody hates us. Not really much of a surprise there. Alright, so we have this army of <laughs> um, random units. Oh, um, yeah, upgrade that one again as well, I guess. I'm not quite sure how much that actually works. Um, that boost to diplomatic relations it probably doesn't really matter at all, but who knows. It's worth worth a shot, I guess. Might make somebody happy with me. By the way, I just want to thank you guys for uh, real quickly. I'm gonna make a video about this eventually, um, but thank you for 3,000 subscribers. We passed that yesterday. Um, that's a huge deal. Thank you all so much. That makes me very, very, very happy. Um, I never thought I would get this far in uh, in one year. It's amazing. Thank you all so much. Right, Demonax. The Golden Gaul. Word has reached us of a Gallic slave whose skills as a goldsmith are fast becoming legend. Purchase him. We want that gold. Right, so this army can actually reach the border. Um, we don't need to be on it right now, though, so we'll just slowly go. And I'm very tempted to build... Um, I should build a barracks in Thracia, to be fair. Right, the spy. You can get up there, that'd be great. Because right now they can only recruit these crap units. Yep, so we're going to build a... Uh, we are definitely going to build a muster field. And we can convert one of these, so we'll probably go for the one that just gives us the most money. Uh, more wealth from all commerce, we can definitely do that. Same with that. Alright, and another turn. I like how fast the gameplay of Rome 2 is. That's why Rome 2 is considerably oh, my favorite game. My uh, my favorite Total War game. Nope. Sorry, Epirus. I'm going to be making a lot more money off killing you than that trade agreement. Oh, Bithynia. I don't like that. I don't like that you're sailing towards me. I know that they have to go down this way to go anywhere, but I didn't even notice how close they were. Oh. God damn it. Well... There we go. I have someone of my family. That's good. Uh, let's get companion Kev. Oh, look at that. He actually gave us money. Excellent. Right, so this army is uh, replenished in one turn. Excellent. And now let's check out what Epirus is doing, basically. Alright, do they have anything at Epidamnos? Not really. They have an army at Delminium. And we'll find out about Apollonia in a second. Uh, so we're building that muster field. That's right. Let's see. Five public order. Public order is a bit of a problem here, so uh, I will build that. Um, it'll take a food, uh, one food away, but that's fine. We have plenty of uh, opportunities to get more food. We could upgrade this. That would take uh, more food, but again, it's the commerce ports. That would give us a lot of money, so we'll do that. And that's most of our money spent. Um, I'm not quite sure if we have anything else. We could upgrade this. 
We could get archers and peltists that way. Oh, we already have one here. Never mind. Um, so we'll do that. So honestly, I want to run this army down to here. And the public order is going to be neutral there. And I want to give this army archers. So in fact, I'm actually going to switch the roles of these armies. This army is going to attack uh, Apollonia. This army is going to take Epidamnos and Dominium. I want to give this army archers just in case there are enemy elephants. Now, there may be elephants in this army. I'm not quite sure. But uh, we will see. Anyway, I'm going to end the turn. Emperor's wants non-aggression. Nope. I think they I think they fear that we're going to be attacking them and they're they're right to fear that uh, that is very true all right so they're not heading my way that's good at least it's very good uh, hidden agent was exposed it's fine you can, as you command. right yeah they have lots of forces here How I I'm going to attempt to sabotage this army done. and it was a success so we just crippled that army and no elephants. So that's good. Um, we shouldn't have much of a problem against them then. Can I get in there? Yes. Excellent. All right. So now we can get relatively decent units. All I really want to go for is uh, archers though, of course. So we're going to get rid of these. And we're going to recruit as many archers as we can. Three. All right. So again, this army is going to occupy the border. And they should be good. Very experienced army, as you can see as well. A lot of the units have uh, experience, which is good. Ready for orders. Yeah. Okay. And another turn. To be fair, I could be looking for non-aggression in these end turns, but eh, forget it. Okay, so they're they're invading someone else. That's good. So to be fair, if I wanted to, I could cross the uh, the land bridge there and mess them up. But I don't think I'll do that. I'll leave them alone. I could subjugate them so those armies would become uh, friendly to me, but I don't think I'll do that. Right, so in one turn, we're going to have uh, the other better infantry. So we're going to go for one more unit of these and... Two hoplites. Two hoplites as a supporting infantry unit. That's that sounds fine. How can I be of assistance? And let's see. Let's see what we can do up here. There's no one there, but we, like I said, we have this army here. So let's try to sabotage it. Oh nope. Never mind. I ran out of. Does he really have mob in that army? Wow. Interesting. Right, so public order is just meh right now. We also have this force here. And to be fair, we don't really need it. Um, they're just taking up a lot of money. 180, 99, 90. I mean, I could give these units to this army. You know what? That's what I'll do. And then we'll disband that general. There we go. That's better. So now this army is closer to becoming a, uh, a real fighting force. That's good. Right. I think we're good to end the turn. Hmm. The minus one food or the... Yeah, we can go for that. Alright, and that's most of my money spent. Uh, it's 100% Hellenic around here. Uh, Hellenic is going down, Balkan is going... I mean, Hellenic is going up, Balkan is going down, that's good. Oh, even if Royal Scythia did declare war on me, it'd be very hard for them to invade, as they have to come down through this very narrow strip of land. Alright, I'll keep my fleet there, just in case. They'll be able to cover that pretty well. Let's take a look at the current affairs of the world. Um, Rome hasn't really... Wow, Rome's actually been kicked out of... Oh no, apparently I don't know the Romans, never mind. I was going to say they've been kicked out of their lands, but I don't actually know them. So, nope. We also need to take this, I keep forgetting that. I need to get ready. After we take out Epirus, that may be my next target. Um, so let's see if we can get non-aggression with anybody. Bithynia. Speak, my friend. And burden your... Yeah, everybody, everybody kind of hates me. 
which is a little sad. A flapping tongue that speaks without wisdom. Well, do you want to trade? The man who had yeah, these no one really likes me that much. So basically, I'm uh, I'm I'm expecting wars at any minute. But we shall persevere. I'm not worried. I hope Ithenia is not attacking um, Nassos. That would be lame. I know they're probably not because that wouldn't make any sense. But okay, we finished our research. That guy returned home. Research something in construction. Why not? Go for that. Oh no, we already have that. Whoops, that was dumb. Right, so now we'll poison this army. There we go. Oh, mercenary veteran hoplites. That's pretty cool. Right, so you have a bunch of units. I want you to have... Interesting. Oh, what can I get from this? Just skirmish or cav. All right. Ready for orders. Uh, I want you to have. Th I might as well just build out the people. army. Um, three more pikes. You already have a little bit of cavalry. Archers are what in the world? Oh yeah, that slinger units that randomly there. Get out of here. I don't need you. Um, so we'll have five, six pikes. More cav. That should be good. Well, that's all I can really spend money on anyway. But that should be okay. We have the companion cav general, so that's fine. Commander. Great. I think we're okay. So we'll just go through the turns. It'd be nice if someone offered me non-aggression. I definitely wouldn't complain about that. But everybody's too stuck up for that. Oh, I don't understand why I haven't just been out here recruiting. Honestly, that's quite dumb. Um, I could just be on the border recruiting instead. Because I, I, I came down here for the archers, and that's it. So I don't know why I was... whatever. Um, so we have two cav units. We definitely want a couple more. So that's 17 Come, units. And what else do I really want? I don't really need anything else. Might as well just get more hoplites for more infantry, basically. To support the pikes. That sounds good. Ready for battle. Yeah, you can see Epirus is just uh, building up the armies. So who owns this Delmate? Alright. So all these armies are chilling. Just come down here, I guess. Uh, is she full level? No. Very close to leveling up, so I'll pop that so she gets a little bit of XP this turn. We'll get ready. Oh, public order just exploded here. That's good. That's great. So we're upgrading that too, which is good. Athens has that port, so next turn we could uh, upgrade that for more money. Excellent. Right, so basically this turn we should see the fall of Epirus in one swift action. I can take Epidemnos and Epilonia in one turn, and then they're going to have a horrible time um, attacking either and taking either from me. Oh, they're actually under siege here. I don't want that to work. Um, so I'm going to sabotage that army. I don't want you to succeed in that, even though they probably still will. So we are going to declare war while having treaties. Do we have a treaty with them? Greetings, my friend. Well, yeah, I have been breaking a lot of treaties. That's why people don't want to make anything with me. But whatever. Oh, wow! Look at that garrison. That's ridiculous. Anyway, I'll fight the battles that we have uh, at Apollonia. Occupy that, just so I don't forget. Oh, jeez, we definitely don't need all this. Let me get rid of this one. And then, yeah, at Apollonia. Do we have any armies to fight? Oh, shoot. Alright, hopefully they attack me. Um, that would be a good battle. They have lots of units to fight then. That would be quite nice. It's a minus one. Events, taxes, buildings, right? Um, 
I could convert it to this to have money. Yeah, we'll do that. I don't want the, uh, I don't really need the food one that much. I mean, the food is good here, but whatevs. Alright, so I thought I would be able to make it here, so please excuse that. Anyway, um, hopefully the Epirus can stop those guys from taking Delminium, because I want to take that for me, of course. Ah, oh, good, they did attack me. Excellent. Nothing too scary. Lots of slingers, but I have lots of cavalry, so that's no big deal. Um, they have lots of peltists, mercenary peltists. Overall, nothing too scary. Um, they do have good generals in this cav, but this is not accurate at all. My army could easily kill them. So, uh, let's do this. Well, maybe not easily kill them, but let's do this. We shall see if my arrogance is uh, too strong. <laughs> but I, I honestly do believe that our army has a good chance of winning this. We have two ballistas, so any powerful infantry they have uh, could be destroyed. And a lot of their army is skirmishers, so... Basically, I'm not too worried. As long as we stay on top of the game and... Uh, take care of their skirmishers whenever we can. We should be fine. Their infantry doesn't have anything on how much I have. Alright, so... They are attacking me, so I don't have to push them at all. So I'm just gonna deploy around here, basically. We're gonna have one unit over here, one here, one in the center to just support wherever. Have our archers. Ballista and our cav and general. There we go. Where are you, enemy? If we are victorious and live, I will there they are. To Zeus and Ares for their favor. So are they coming for me or are they gonna wait for their reinforcements? Nope, they're coming for me. Alright. That's good. If we, if we can uh, if we can engage this force before their reinforcements come, that would be excellent. So we'll just start moving, just so we can possibly engage before the enemy, other enemies get here. All right. Yep, they're not. Uh, they're not waiting at all. They're pushing right for us. This is good. Hellenic Royal Cavalry. We may want to take some shots at them um with our ballista see this is yeah this is this is scary all of this is strong of course this is a big army but um if we can kill this before uh the rest gets to us that's excellent we'll be golden basically um so the enemy is about to enter a gray zone um so i'm actually going to run my cab out to scout so that we can actually see them and our uh and these guys can actually shoot something so we'll get them going. Yeah, to be fair, we're not going to be able to really see them. If I get up on this hill, I should be able to. And this will be a good position for them to strike from. There we go. Alright, so they have entered our... Uh, deployment, or not our deployment, our uh, field of fire. So we have some missiles coming in. There we go. That killed a couple of people. Not exactly the result I wanted, but whatever. <clears throat> there we go. Explosive shot. That's a lot better. It still actually didn't kill that many. Oh, that unit got hit pretty bad. But uh, what I actually want to hit is the general, so... Let me get both of them to fire now. Yeah, there we go. That unit of levy pikes just got destroyed. That's good. Right, so you can see that they're running their generals up together. That's not quite good. Alright, all of the shots are coming in on the enemy general. Hopefully we can kill him. Oh, they missed. A few of them hit those javelins, which is okay, I suppose. Alright, we have a few more shots coming in. Hopefully these ones hit. Right. Okay, so explosive shot does not work against cavalry. Lesson learned. So we have some normal shot coming in here, but they're going to miss. 
Alright, please hit. Kill a bunch of them. There we go. That's a lot better. But still, I don't think it's quite worth... I don't think it's worth it. So we're going to go ahead and deploy our pikes. Our archers are soon going to start firing. Um, the enemy are using javelin men, so we have a bit of an advantage over them. And to be fair, we could quickly strike at this enemy general, although he is actually backing off now, so... Never mind, we have our archers firing. Get these guys to fire at the javelin men. Does Slimming Shot have a bonus against cavalry? Bonus versus buildings, no. If they could fire at that enemy general, that would be great. Alright, so we're doing lots of damage against them. Uh, I'm going to get my archers to back off here. These things are still firing, which is good. We'll get them to shoot at the general that's sitting still. Although, actually, I could get one to shoot at these guys. These guys are taking fire from my archers, which is great. They're going to be going down pretty rapidly to that. Uh, those guys charge into the pikes, which is great. We're going to be firing at the enemy javelin men. Oh, I do want to move out of the way there. Oh, because they are firing at me and I didn't notice. That was quite dumb. Yep, that is some long range they have. Those are slingers, I believe. Yep, they certainly are. Yeah, so you can see their javelins are just peppering my pikes, which is not fun. Um, I don't quite like that. This general is just sitting there and dying. Um, so I'm definitely okay with that. Enemy suicidal generals are always good. Uh, we have some slingers chasing after me, so that's good. I'm gonna go take out, go take out some of them. These javelins are breaking. That general just died, which is great. Um, these guys are coming around, so I'm gonna flank a little bit. Yeah, we have free access to those guys, so that's cool. So we're about to charge in and take out a bunch of them. Alright, that unit's going to be sacrificed. There's no point in trying to get it out of there, really. They'll just die out being pulled out anyway, so we'll try to take out as many of these guys as we can. Um, losing that unit is fair enough. Alright, I won't mess with those guys. That would be quite dumb. We have a bunch of mob around here, which is no worry at all. Alright, we broke those guys. Get behind the, the pike line. Alright, so these guys are actually doing pretty good. They've uh, they've killed a bunch of skirmishers and stuff, but the combined fire of all the skirmishers, of course, uh, did them in. Illyrian levies, what are you? Alright, you're a sword unit. I don't really want to charge you, necessarily. Um, this mob is about to run into the pikes, which is good. Uh, the mob is chasing after my archers. Alright. I didn't quite expect them to do that. That's fine. No problem. Alright, between the hoplites and this cavalry, we should be able to crush this Illyrian levies quite easy. They should basically just get destroyed from this. Yep. That's what I thought. Alright, we gotta pull out of there, though. Yep, they're wavering already. That's great. I would like to do a quick charge on those Peltas, but I don't think that's going to work. Um, oh, the archers over here are fine. Excellent. Yeah, like, like I said, our chance of winning has already gone up so much. It's quite, it's quite ridiculous. Pikes. The Macedonian um, style of warfare is just works so well in this game, it's ridiculous. Just hammer an anvil. That's all you need. And that's exactly what this faction is good at. Literally have nothing to worry about playing as Macedon. They're a, gr they're a great all-around faction. Alright, I want to get these guys out of here. Um, if we could break this uh, unit, that'd be great. Oh, we're going to take some javelins in the back, which isn't good. 
but uh, no matter. Oh, my archers have kind of just run out and died. Oh, these archers are actually out of ammo, so I'll just run them back. And we actually have my companion Cav General, which I've completely forgotten about until now. Uh, so that's cool. Get our Cav back over here. Uh, get our General up into the fight. We'll use, like, some, uh... We'll use that on some guys just to freak them out. Um, this unit's out of ammo nearly. This unit is chillin'. Oh, try to try to chase these guys down. That's what I'll send you guys to do. Get rid of those guys. Right, so we have some levy pikes on their way. And you can see this battle is almost done. They don't have many units left, really. Okay, I'm going to spread out these guys and we're going to charge in. They're going to chase these guys down. We're going to be breaking those guys momentarily. Center is breaking. Yeah, this is over. This unit's chasing down all of these guys, which is great. And uh, soon enough, we're just going to be... Uh, we're just going to be breaking all these guys. Charge the companions into those slingers. Although that is a bit over the top. I'm okay with that. You can see we broke all of the slingers here. Uh, so let's go ahead and just charge into these guys. Finish off this battle. There we go. A glorious victory for Macedon. We only lost the one unit of cav that I sacrificed. Um, definitely a, an okay price to pay for the entire enemy army. The entire three enemy forces being completely destroyed essentially so I am definitely okay with that that is not a hefty price to pay that one unit of uh, citizen cavalry alright so we got them so we should be able to chase down whatever else as you can see there's just a bunch of guys here so we're gonna go ahead and speed this up a little bit just a little bit. You can see some big units are getting away in the distance, which kind of sucks. But whatever, we'll take down some of these hoplites. Uh, this unit of 24 may want to kill a few more of them. These cavalry are going to hit all these guys, which is great. I mean, even if we don't destroy the units, that's fine. They'll be reduced to uselessness, basically, so... Oh, that's a huge unit of mercenaries. Uh, definitely get rid of them. That's a full unit, pretty much. Yeah, you definitely want to get rid of them. Yeah, these big blocks might get away, but oh well. Killing all these mercenaries was is worth it. That was a full unit, basically, so that would have been painful to have to fight again. Let's see if we can get these guys. I doubt we will. Very doubtful. Oh, we might just barely catch them. Oh, yes. Good job. All right, move on. We can at least catch this little blob of 40, 44, apparently. I don't think there's 44 men in that little blob. But anyway, uh, that's a heroic victory. We lost 400 men. We killed 3,689. That's great. You can see the, uh, the pikes really carried the day here. Oh, yeah. Everything did really good. Look at our archers. Way better than the slingers I've been using. Gosh damn. So these, these guys got more kills than these guys, but these ones leveled up. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, sacrifice this unit. Definitely didn't pay off, but I mean... You gotta look at the, uh, the comparison of losing this unit to this many men. It's... It's crazy. Not even comparable. This unit got 405 kills. That's ridiculous. Anyway, Epirus is destroyed now after that. So we're going to kill the captives, and next turn we're going to take Apollonia. And then I'll end the episode. Now it'll be interesting to see if uh, Epirus loses that settlement to that army I sabotaged. I hope they don't, as I want to take it for myself. Um, 
and they didn't lose it. Excellent. So I'm going to be taking it. So they will lose it, but whatever. Uh, Pergamon and Bithynia are at war. Alright, so they ran off. So then we can take the city for ourselves. Excellent. Apollonia is mine. I'm going to occupy it. And there we go. Macedonia is under my control. There we go. We got a commerce port from that, which is great. This one's going to be converted to commerce. And uh, let's just get this for the food. And yeah, we can take this soon. So, Or maybe even now. What kind of garrison does it have? Probably not that great. They, I was going to say they just took it, but not really. Um, we'll sabotage the army. That uh, was a failure. But uh, we could... How's the public order? 14. We can besiege it. We might be able to take it. Yeah, we could. Excellent. So we'll take this as well. Might as well. And yeah, that's the end of the episode, guys. If you enjoyed, uh, please be sure to leave a like and a comment down below, as always. And if you're enjoying the series, make sure you're subscribed, because this is going to be coming out every couple of days. Um, this has been Overkill as always, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.